Zechariah 11 verse 13 and Matthew 26 verses 14 to 15, Judah's betrayal. In the intricate tapestry of scripture, prophecy and fulfillment converge to reveal the heartbreaking reality of betrayal. Zechariah 11 verse 13 and Matthew 26 verses 14 to 15 are two threads that intertwine, illuminating the depth of meaning in Judas' act of betrayal. This essay embarks on a journey through these verses, exploring their harmonious narrative and the timeless teachings they convey. Zechariah 11 verse 13 A Prophetic Foreshadowing In the prophetic verses, Zechariah 11 verse 13 foretells the act of betrayal. And the Lord said to me, Throw it to the potter the handsome price at which they valued me. So I took the thirty pieces of silver and threw them to the potter at the house of the Lord. These words in Zechariah 11 verse 13 foreshadow the transaction involving thirty pieces of silver, marking a disturbing valuation placed upon someone. The prophecy anticipates a shocking betrayal that involves a monetary exchange. Matthew 26 verses 14 to 15 The Betrayal Unveiled Transition to the New Testament where the Gospel of Matthew unfolds the fulfillment in Matthew 26 verses 14 to 15. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him thirty pieces of silver. In these verses, the fulfillment of Zechariah's prophecy becomes a tragic reality, as Judas agrees to betray Jesus for thirty pieces of silver. The convergence of prophecy and reality marks a moment of profound sorrow and recognition. Judas' betrayal prophecy and fulfillment aligned. Zechariah 11 verse 13 and Matthew 26 verses 14 to 15 weave a narrative that bridges prophecy and fulfillment, encapsulating the heartbreaking act of betrayal by Judas. Timeless teachings and daily relevance. Frailty of humanity. The fulfillment of Zechariah's prophecy underscores the frailty of human decisions. We're called to reflect on the choices we make and their consequences. Motives and values. The prophecy speaks of the price at which someone was valued. We're encouraged to evaluate our motives and the values we uphold. Loss of trust. The fulfillment reveals the loss of trust caused by betrayal. We're prompted to strive for integrity in our relationships and actions. God's sovereignty. The concept of betrayal challenges us to consider God's sovereignty amidst difficult circumstances. We're reminded of his ultimate plan. Redemption and forgiveness. The prophecy and fulfillment remind us of God's ability to bring redemption even in the face of betrayal. We're invited to extend forgiveness as Christ did. In conclusion, Zechariah 11 verse 13 and Matthew 26 verses 14 to 15 stand as an intertwined portrayal of Judas' betrayal, bridging prophecy and fulfillment. Through these verses, we gain insights into the frailty of humanity the importance of examining our motives and values, the impact of betrayal on trust, God's sovereignty, and the call to extend forgiveness. As we navigate complex human dynamics, may these verses guide us to embrace the transformative power of understanding betrayal, inspiring us to make choices rooted in integrity, uphold meaningful values, rebuild trust, trust in God's plan, and extend forgiveness in the face of hurtful actions.